Good morning everyone. We are on our way to the zoo for our early morning with the pandas. I've already been watching them on panda cam. <laughs> Seeing them out and about. I didn't know they had panda cam to this morning. Probably a good thing. Anyway, we're gonna go buy a Starbucks because Kevin needs his coffee.
Mary. She's our oldest elephant. Typically out in the wild, uh, an elephant can live to late 30s, early 40s. Sometimes Asian elephants or female elephants a little bit longer, but she's 54. She's 54. She's doing really well. She is uh, having a little bit of trouble with her teeth, though. Uh, elephants are some of the few mammals that have multiple sets of teeth.
have a really good time at the zoo. It's been very good. And the horse were extra cute. We just caught the bus back around at the top again. We're going to Africa Rocks.
sunbeams. I'm doing so much first and then go see the sunbeams. Are going to look at the sunbeams? Yes, okay. I'm going to come back here for lunch. These are the harvested for their viral ones. Yeah. Here comes Kevin with our lunch. <laughs> Salad looks good. Got a mandarin salad. Oh, that's nice. Free eating. <laughs> Free eating egg roll. And what did you get? Teriyaki chicken hamburger with pineapple and cheese. Oh, sounds like something you would like. My um, lunch was super, super yummy. It was really good. I enjoyed that. And I'm without the sun. We're gonna catch the lift up. I walk across the bridge now. So we can catch the gondola things up to the top. Friend. Never guess where we've come. Target. This is a little Target though, apparently. And they've got a seafood food van and a vegan food van. Yes, it's a veggie food van though. Well, this is like Carrera veggie. You're a veggie. <laughs> You can see we are back home at the Airbnb. Had a, such a nice summer zoo. I think I said to Kevin, I think it's one of the best animal encounters we've ever had at a zoo. Like, as you'll have seen, so many of the animals were up, moving about, doing cute things. So it was such a cool experience. Obviously, the pandas were the highlight, which is what you went to see in the first place. So that, that early morning entry, you did pay extra for it. Um, and it was kind of expensive, but it was so worth it. <laughs> we saw all the other animals as well, and just that personalised tour, plus all the money that she goes back into the animals too. So, like it's a non-for-profit zoo, so all their money goes, everything you buy goes back into the zoo, or they donate actually a lot of money overseas to conservation places overseas as well. So it sounds like such an, a really good ethical zoo, which is. I did think it was that um, from what I'd read and knew but yeah hearing them talk about it in more detail was really cool so yeah we had a fabulous time um, we were there about six hours so it was quite a long day still but always we used the buses to get around and just a bit of walking um, all downhill because <laughs> it's like Taronga Zoo in Sydney it's a very hilly zoo so but yeah it was an awesome day Kevin really enjoyed it too and then we did some Vitar going back picked up a few things Scored another box jigsaw puzzle. So if you've seen my my haul's not up yet, but you'll see them. But a lot of jigsaw puzzles on this trip because I really love the Thomas Kincaid ones. Um, and they were like I bought a full box of four. It was half the price I paid for not the same one, but a similar one at Disneyland. So 
Uh, a little bit of a bargain. Anyway, I'm just back. I'm just probably going to play online for a bit. I don't have to watch any YouTube. I'm so far behind. I've got like so many videos to watch, particularly lots of Vlogmas ones to watch when I go home. Luckily, it's holidays and Christmas time. And Kelly back to work, so I should be able to indulge a little bit at home. But also, I want to keep eye fitness when I get home, too, because uh, I've got leg muscles that I haven't had for a long time <laughs> from all the walking. So, we're trying to, fit that, trying to continue that. And I hope it does, I think it does overall help with my fibro pain. If I can, and they say that exercise is very important, so, but it's hard to get it going. So, once you get it going, you want to keep it going. We're also going back to summer. <laughs> very hot so it's going to have to be an early morning walk or it ain't going to happen so hopefully i've been functioning better in the mornings like someone's still a bit rough but if i'm up early enough hopefully within an hour maybe i can get out the door and get for a walk even if i have to recover for a while afterwards <laughs> i'm going to try and do that um can we just have a lie down i think before we sleep very shortly and yeah that's sort of our day concluded um it's been lovely really nice day